surface area of prisms. So when we talk about surface area, we're now moving to 3D shapes. And surface area is all of the outside 2D areas added together. And a prism always has two faces that are the same with rectangles joining them together. Let's have a look at a rectangular prism. This would be 10 meters, 8 meters, and 2 meters. Now, how many faces does this prism have? Well, it has six faces one at the front here, one at the back, one on this right hand side, one on the left hand side one at the top and one at the bottom. So surface area is the area of all of those faces added together. When I do surface area, I like writing it all out. So my surface area is going to be the area of the front plus the area of the back, plus the area of the left, plus the area of the right, plus the area of the top, plus the area of the bottom. And here we've accounted for all six faces. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So let's work out all those areas so we can add them all together. So the area of the front is going to be 8 by 2. The area of the back is actually the same. It's also 8 by 2. The area of the left face, well that's 10 by 2. The 10 matches with that 10. The area of the right is the same as the left, 10 by 2. The area of the top, well, that's 8 by 10. And the area of the bottom is the same as the top, because it's also 8 by 10. Now all we have to do is work this out. So 8 times 2 is 16. 10 times 2 is 20. And 8 times 10 is 80. And adding this all together is going to give us 232 meters squared. Because all we've done is just take six areas, which remember is units squared, and added them together. Let's have a look at a triangular prism this time. Seven meters, three meters, four meters, and five meters. Now, how many faces does the triangular prism have? Well, this has five faces. Let's have a look. We've got one at the front here, one at the back, one at the bottom one at the left, and this one here that's slanted on the right. So to find the surface area, we need the area of 
every one of those faces added together. So it's going to be the area of the front plus the area of the back plus the area of the left plus the area of the right that's on the slant plus the area of the bottom. What can help is putting the formula above the area. So the area of front is a rectangle, sorry, is a triangle. So it's a half times the base times the height. Same with the back. On the left, we have a rectangle, and the area of a rectangle is the base times the height. The right is another rectangle, which is base times height. And the bottom is a rectangle, which is base times height. So for the triangle at the front, it's a half times three the base times four the height. Same with the back triangle, it's exactly the same. Half times three times four, plus the area of the left rectangle over here is a seven by four meter rectangle. So plus seven times four, plus the area of the right, tri the right rectangle is a seven by five, so it's a seven by five rectangle. That's seven times five, plus the area of the bottom rectangle, which is a seven by three rectangle. Putting this all together, well, three times four is 12, and half of that is six. I'm gonna get the same for this one. Seven times four is 28. Seven times five is 35 and seven times three is 21. Adding that all together gives us 96 meters squared for the total surface area. So just make note that sometimes if you know that some shapes are the same, like this front triangle and the back triangle, you can find the area of one of them and multiply by how many there are instead of finding them all separately and adding them together. But that's up to you. Thank you.